Hello everyone! Kumusta? This is Che and welcome to my channel. Mabuhay from Philippines. This is my Dinrobil Mini 3 Lips and today I will show you three ways of growing orchids. This is based on my limitation. This is based on how I grow or how we grow orchids here. And if you have other ways of growing orchids, I hope that you'll also share it through the comments. The first way of growing orchids is by mounting them or by attaching them. This is a Phalaenopsis which is mounted on a durian tree. My mother also used some coconut husk to retain moisture. This is the most common way of growing orchids here. And I think that it is one of the reasons why others shy away from growing orchids. Because before, I thought that this is the only way of growing orchids. My mother only planted orchids on trees, so I thought that if you don't have trees, you cannot grow orchids. But now I learned that there are other ways of growing orchids. This is a cattleya which is attached on a fruit tree. There are no coconut husk or moss, so for this kind of mount, you can water this every day. I learned that you can mount orchids not just on trees. This is a Dinrobium anosmum which I mounted on a plastic basket which is usually used for vandas. I have a video how I did this and I will just include the link in the description. You can also mount orchids on fern slab or on plastic mounts. This came with this orchid and I think that it is great. Others also use clay mounts or ceramic mounts. The second way on how I grow orchids is by potting them. This is a tulumia which I potted on a 3 inch square plastic pot. You can pot them on plastic pots or clay pots or ceramic pots or plastic baskets depending on you depending on your environment or depending on your orchids most of my orchids now are potted in plastic pots but i still have some orchids in clay pots i just like the white pots because they brighten up the garden and Plastic pots also come in different shapes and sizes. They are cheap and they are lightweight. So I can just hang them there or hang them like this. I can also place them on benches like this. But I added some stones there to prevent them from falling over. When you are using plastic pots for your orchids, you need to be careful in watering them if you are using organic media. But for my orchids in plastic pots, I only use leca or hydraton, charcoal, and stones. And these days, it is rainy season here in the Philippines. It rains almost every day. My orchids are exposed to rain and so far they are doing fine my phalaenopsis my dinrobiums and other orchids they are all exposed to rain and so far i don't have any problem you can plant your orchids on pots or baskets with media or medium or bare rooted just like these vandas there are lots of options which i didn't know before but now i am growing my orchids in different setup different media different pots so there are lots of options there are lots of ways and i will show you my last way of growing orchids here and that is without 
anything <laughs> or without pot without basket I just hang them bare rooted so I used a wire which I also have a video this is our DIY Vanda hanger I just hang the Vandas there and the roots are growing so you can do this with other orchids but I only did this to these Makaras which I received as gift before another way of growing orchids is the semi hydro setup it is not part of my three ways on how I grow orchids because I no longer use that setup. I have an indoor garden before for my Phalaenopsis and for my other orchids, so I planted them in semi hydro setup and self watering pots. But since I transferred all of my orchids, I no longer have orchids in that setup. But if you are interested, you can check my older videos on how I grow my orchids in semi-hydro setup or in self-watering pots. Growing orchids in different setups or in different ways might also require different care and attention, but for me, I am a lazy grower, so I give them the same care except for watering because just like I told you, it is rainy season here in the Philippines. It rains almost every day, so I don't water my potted orchids. They are always wet, but I still water my bare-rooted orchids, my hanged vandas, my mounted orchids because sometimes they get dry because of the wind or the temperature i fertilize them the same way i fertilize my other orchids i fertilize them twice a week for three weeks and no fertilizer for one week i have a video how i fertilize my orchids i will include the link in the description i always water my orchids first before i fertilize them but when it is raining I will wait until the rain stops before I fertilize them so I no longer need to water them because they are already wet by the rain but sometimes when the medium is still wet but the leaves are dry I still water the leaves I still wet the leaves before I fertilize them and that is how I grow my orchids here I mount them I pot them or I just hang them without anything, just a wire or a string. So you don't need anything special to grow orchids, just take care of them and they will grow for you. Also consider your environment. I know that different growers have different preferred ways on how they grow orchids and so do you. So I hope that you can share in the comments how you grow your orchids. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for watching. Maraming salamat. Paalam. See you on my next videos.